Okay, um, question 11, um, it's a metric question. Now, if you've not hit the subscribe button, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell you see beside because um, we'll be releasing several videos. So please subscribe so we can you can encourage us to do more. Now, question 11 says, given that B is um, matrix 2, 4, and C is 3, 2, and A is equal to 3C minus 2B, find the magnitude of A correct to two decimal plates okay so now to solve this question we're going to perform the equation that is written um, below so it says um a it says if a is equal to 3c minus 2b so we're going to um get this equation so which is equal to a is equal to 3 c is 3 is to 2 minus 2b b is 2 4 okay so um a is going to be now this will be 3 times um 3 it's going to give us um 9 then 3 two times 2 will give us 6 so this will be minus 2 times 2 is going to be um 4 and 2 times 4 is going to be 8 now subtracting this we're going to get them um, 9 minus 4 we're going to get 5 and 6 minus 8, we're going to get um, minus 2. So this is our A. Now, to get the magnitude of A, we're going to perform um, this x plus A will be something like this x plus y squared. So this is going to be A will be square root of 5 square plus minus 2 all square. And you This is going to give us a um, square root of, that's 25 plus 4, and this is going to give us a um, square root of, um, that's 29. So we are going to perform the square root of 29 with our calculator, and that will give us a um, square root of 29. So that will give us 5.385, which is a... Uh, 5.385 now the question says approximate to two decimal place which leave us at 5.39 so that's our final answer so now I'll take us to question um 12 and question 12 is a construction question so since we are not constructing on the system we are going to skip that now question 13 says solve the inequality now to solve this type of question you need to split it so you need to say um, 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to 3x plus 4 and split it into two equations this will be 3x plus 4 is less than 7 minus x okay so we're going to solve this equation individually so this is going to be um, 2x um, 3x coming over is going to be minus 3x is less than or equal to 4 minus 1 going over is going to be plus 1. So this is going to be 2x minus 3x is going to give us minus x is less than or equal to, um, that's 5. So that means um, x, because our minus is cha um, going over to the other side, it will change to minus 5. Now for this one, it's going to be 3x minus x coming over is going to be plus x is less than 7 plus 4 going over is going to be minus 4. This is going to give us 4x is less than 3. Therefore, our x will be less than 3 over 4. Okay? So, now to represent this, our equation is going to be minus 5. Okay? Minus, if x is greater than or equal to minus 5, that means minus 5 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 3 over 4. So, that's our final answer. Okay? So, that will take us to the next question, which says, uh, given that a is equal to 2, 3, 4, 4, and B is equal to X, 1, 2, 3. And that AB is a singular matrix. Find the value of X. First of all, let's get the value of AB. And we are going to multiply these two matrix, which is 2, 4, 3, 4, multiplied by X, 1, 2, 3. Now, I'm going to break this down so that you understand how I got my multiplication. So to get it, 2 times x, this will be 2 times x plus, this other one is going to be 3 times 2, to give us here 3 times 2, comma. 
then to get the other variable here it's going to be two times one two times one then we will now have three times three plus three times three close our bracket then the denominator will be four times x that's four times x plus here will now be four times two four times two comma then this last one is going to be four times one plus um four times one plus i think we still have four times three okay so now we've gotten this we can now um open up our bracket uh, expand 2x this will be 2x plus um 3 times 2 is 6 comma this will be 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 times 3 is 9 2 plus 9 will give us 11 um this will give us 4x plus 4 times 2 is 8 comma um 4 times 1 is 4 4 plus 3 will give us 12 and that will give us um, 16. Okay, so that means matrix AB is equal to this. Now it says if AB is a singular matrix. Now, what is a singular matrix? When you have a singular matrix, it means determinant of A, B, C, D is equal to zero. So all we need to do is evaluate the determinant of AB and equate it to zero. So this is going to be uh, determinant of 2x plus 6 comma 11 4x plus 8 comma 16 is, is equal to 0 now this means 2x plus 6 all into 16 minus um, 11 into 4x plus 8 is equal to 0 so we will solve for x now opening the bracket we're going to get 32x plus 16 times 6, 6 times 6 is 36, that's 6, will carry um, 3, 6 times 1 is 3, that's 9, 96, minus 11 times 4 is going to give us 44x, minus 11 times 8 is going to give us um, minus 88 is equal to 0. So collecting like terms, 32 minus 44, that's going to give us a uh, minus... 12x okay minus 12x is equal to 88 goes over to the other side 96 goes over so it becomes um 88 minus 96 okay so because um, po uh, minus 86 is minus 88 is going over it becomes positive and plus 96 is going over it becomes minus 96 so 88 minus 96 is going to give us um, this is um minus 12x is equal to um this will give us um how many was the difference this is six okay this will give us minus eight therefore our x is going to be minus eight over minus 12 uh, minus will cancel minus four can go so this will give us um that's um eight into four divided eight divided by four will give us two and um, 12 divided by 4 again will give us 3. So our final answer is 2 over 3. So our x is equal to 2 over 3. As simple as that. Okay, so um, if you watch the question, all you need to do is understand how to perform the determinant. Also understand how to multiply your matrix and understand how um, what a singular matrix is. Now question 15 says, a trader bought two types of bulbs, A and B, at KS at 60 shillings and 56 kilo shillings. Um, she bought a total of 50 bulbs of both types at a total of um, 2872 shillings. Determine the number of types, type A bulbs that she bought. Okay, now to solve this question, uh, it said um, at this point, it said she bought a total of 50 bulbs of both type at a total of that that means um okay so she bought a total of 50 bobs that means bob a plus bob b the total was 50 that's 50 bobs okay let's call this our equation one then also a trader bought two types of bobs 
So for A, she bought 60 A and for B, it's 56 B and the total it's um, 2872. We'll call this our equation 2. Okay, so from equation 1, from equation 1, we can say A is equal to 50 minus B. So that would um, we we'll have to substitute. Um, okay, since we are already looking for B, so let's just say, um, let's say from equation one we can say B is equal to fifty minus A, so that we can find our A since the question is already asking us to find A. So we we'll say instead of writing B, we we'll now say sixty A plus fifty six times. 50 minus a is equal to 2872. So this is going to be 60a plus 56 times 50. So let's bring in our calculator. That will be 56 times 50. And that will give me 2800. So this will be plus 2800 minus 56a is equal to 2872. Now, we're going to collect like terms. 60A minus 56A is going to give us um, 4A, which will be equal to um, 2872 minus 2872 minus 2800. This means 4A is equal to 2872 minus 2800 will give us um, 72. Therefore, our A will be 72 over 4. So this will give us um, um, 4 into 7 it's 1, 4 into 32 it's um, 8. So our A it's 18. Okay, so if you want to test it, you can also get your B if the question requests for that. B is going to be 50 minus 18 and that will give you, um, that will give you 32. So you can test it in your equation 60a plus 56b so that will be let's test it to be sure our answers are correct so that will be 60 times 18 plus 56 times 32 okay so that's correct so that's our final answer please if you've not hit the subscribe button do so because we're going to be solving several questions that will interest you so by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell, you stay up to date with us. Um, stay tuned for the next question.